Hello and welcome, my name's Devious Gaming, and today we are starting a brand new series on my channel, um, which is Pokemon Theme Battles, and today's theme is the Mighty Morphing Power Rangers. Um, I chose a Pokemon that I think most represent the Zords from the original series, so I went with Aerodactyl in place of the Pink Ranger, uh, Pterodactyl Zord. I went with Bastiodon as the Blue Ranger's uh, Triceratops Zord. Um, I picked Tarantrum as... Uh, the Tyrannosaurus Red Ranger Zord. Um, I picked uh, Tyranitar for the Dragon Zord for the Green Ranger. I picked Raikou for the Sabretooth Tiger Zord. And I picked Mamoswine for the uh, Mastodon Zord for the Black Ranger. So I used my Discord server to set up some battles with you guys. Um, a big thank you to Lucas and Noah for taking part. Um, I am going to... Uh, showcase their battles with me from last night here in this first episode so without further ado let's head straight into a battle with Lucas which he is running uh, Lucario, Drapion, Scizor, Pikachu, uh, Porygon Z and Midnight Form Lycanroc so let's see how we do in the, this battle here So we lead with uh, Pterodactyl, as he is our fastest Pokemon on the team, and I thought he was a good matchup for most of the Pokemon on Lucas's team. He leads off with his Lucario, and we hit straight off with an Earthquake for that super effective damage. And sadly, he lives on 9 health, so Clutch coming in there for Lucas, as he manages to... Um, Set up his EVs on his Lucario to survive an Earthquake from our Pterodactyl. So we lose our first Pokemon here. And we go straight into our next Pokemon, which is our Sabretooth. Again, another one of the fastest Pokemon on my team, knowing that I can take down this Lucario. However, the priority move Vacuum Wave from the Lucario hitting my Sabretooth. And I hit the Lucario with a fire hidden power for the super effective damage and take down his Lucario. So we're down to five Pokemon apiece. And he's going to send out his Drapion next. So again, wasn't too fussed about this um, Drapion, so I knew I could tank a hit from it. So I hit off with a Calm Mind um, to try and secure Sabretooth. Uh, in this battle a little bit longer we do get hit with an earthquake which is super effective but we tank it quite well and I also have leftovers on the saber tooth so just gaining a little bit of health back as we hit this drapion with a discharge for the stab however his drapion survives with 2 HP and he gets off another earthquake which is going to take out Sabretooth. So sadly, Sabretooth goes down here, leaving his Drapion with two health. And we bring out Triceratops. So Triceratops is one of the slowest Pokemon on my team, but he's holding the Quick Claw. And Drapion hits us with an Earthquake, which we tank quite well, doing just under half. And we hit back with an Earthquake ourselves to finish off this Drapion. And down goes the Drapion, and he comes back out with his Wonderbug, Sizzle. And sadly, we go down to the Superpower from his Sizzle. However, he does get an Attack Drop and a Defense Drop by using it. So we go out here into our Dragon Zord, which is our Tyranitar. And get off the sand stream. But sadly, that isn't enough. As he nearly one hit KOs our Tyranitar, which he would have if we weren't running a Focus Sash. So he gets another attack drop and a defense drop. And we hit off with the Earthquake. Again, should have taken this guy out, but Lucas obviously knows what he's doing and he's. Scizor stays in again with 2 HP 
and we go down. We are now down to our last two Pokemon, and Lucas currently still has four of his. So here I know I need to do something to try and win this battle, so I hit off with a Dragon Dance to try and boost this Tyrannosaurus and keep us in the game. So we tank a hit from it fairly well, and we hit back with an Earthquake to take out his Scizor. So our plus one attack um, using the dra Dragon Dance does help us out a great deal in this battle now. As we now run through his Pikachu with an Earthquake. His Pikachu definitely not surviving and goes down with a one hit knockout. Forcing Lucas into his next Pokemon. The Sans uh, Sansorm does die down. And he goes out into his Porygon Z. So I use Outrage here. So a plus one Outrage on this Porygon is going to one hit knockout. And now we are neck and neck with two Pokemon apiece. Sorry, that was his second to last Pokemon. So we are now down into um, his Lycanroc, which we are stuck using Outrage, which wasn't a problem as it also one hit knockouts. His Midnight Lycan Rock. We do get confused, but I am running a Lumberry on the Tyrannosaurus specifically for that reason. And we do win our first battle there against Lucas. Thank you, Lucas, again for participating. And we are going to head straight into the next battle here against Noah from the Discord server. He is bringing his Incineroar, Sylveon, Salazzle, Pikachu, Tapu Koko, and Glyscore. score so let's see how we do in this next battle so again i lead with um, pterodactyl as he is the fastest pokemon on our team and i thought he was the best matchup against whatever noah brought to the table which is is incineroar and i know that i am faster so I hit straight off with an Earthquake for the super effective damage against the Incineroar. However, not quite enough to take out his Catman. So he hits off with a Darkest Lariat. And does Amicabout of damage to our Pterodactyl. Again, I see no reason not to use an Earthquake to take out his Incineroar. And his Incineroar goes down, forcing him into his next Pokemon, Tapu Koko. Now I knew I was faster than the Tapu Koko, so I did hit off with an Earthquake. To try and do as much damage to this thing as possible. But again, not quite enough power to take down this Tapu Koko, and we do go down to a Discharge. And into our next Pokemon, Mastodon, which is our Mamoswine. Sadly, I don't have any priority moves on this guy. And Noah hits off straight into his Z-move on his Tapu Koko, which is Guardian of Alola. So it does quite a, a great deal of damage to our Mastodon, however not enough to finish us off, so we hit back with an Earthquake to take down Noah's Tapu Koko. So Noah is down to his last four Pokemon as he brings out his Gliscor. Now I was quite scared of this Pokemon as I didn't have anything that would really um, be able to take this thing down. All of my Pokemon are slower than it. Um, so I do go out here into the Triceratops as he has uh, Avalanche Ice move, which is super effective against his Gliscor. However, we are a lot slower, but I am running the Quick Claw. So 
He goes for a guillotine, which doesn't affect us due to our sturdy ability. And we hit off with an avalanche. Um, not doing as much damage as I would have hoped. So again, I switched up the move and try and stone edge to see how much damage this would do against his Glyscore. Which sadly, not a lot, even with the crit. And we get hit with a Sky Uppercut from the Glyscore. Doing well over half damage to our Triceratops. Again, we get the click hook, Quick Claw coming in clutch there. Um, however, the Sky Attack is a priority move. And luckily he misses. We get another Avalanche off. Not enough to take him down. And we do get hit with the second Sky Attack. Third Sky Uppercut, sorry. And it does go down to his Gly score there. So I'll go straight out into Sabretooth here. Knowing that we should outspeed this guy with our Sabretooth. And I hit straight off with a Shadow Ball. The Gly score does go down to the Shadow Ball. And I know now that I haven't got the strongest of Pokemon left. So I need to do something here. Um, to help me win the battle and I decide as the Pikachu can't do a lot of damage to me um, I hit off with a Calm Mind. So the Pikachu is going to hit me with a Brick Break which doesn't do a mass amount of damage so I decide that I'm going to try and seal the deal with this battle and go for another Calm Mind. So we are going to get hit with another Brick Break from the Pikachu. However, we do have plus two in Special Attack and Special Defense now. And obviously gaining a bit more life back with our Leftovers. So this Pikachu is now going to go down to a Shadow Ball. A plus two Shadow Ball on this Pikachu. And Noah is going to switch out into his Salazzle. So plus two um, discharge now at this time to take out this Salazzle. However, the Salazzle is running a Focus Sash. Does get the Paralyzed, but that doesn't have an effect in this match. Really, we get hit with a Flamethrower, which does... A great deal of damage, another crit on our Pokemon. We get a little bit of life back from the leftovers and finish off the Salazzle with another Discharge. Another is now on his last Pokemon, I believe. And we have our plus two Sabretooth on the field. And he's going to send out his Sylveon. I go for a Shadow Ball here, as uh, I wanted to see how much damage a plus two Shadow Ball does to this Sylveon, but it is pretty tanky and takes it like a boss and returns a Shadow Ball to us. We get a little bit of life back from our leftovers. And this time I decide I'm gonna hit this thing with a plus two Stab and Discharge from Sabretooth, which still doesn't do enough damage to take down the Sylveon. And we get hit with a Moonblast. Moonblast does drop our special attack, however, not going to um, have much um, effect here in this battle as we finish off with a discharge from Sabretooth to secure us the win in our second battle here today. So that is it for today, guys, with the battles. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode. If you have, please do smash that like button. And if you've got an idea for a theme um, that you would like to see here in one of the episodes, leave a comment in the section down below and I'll see what I can do. If you would like to join the Discord server uh, to be in with a chance to feature in any of the episodes in the series, um, the link is in the description. Um, just follow that link and you'll join the Discord server. It is an open server. I welcome you all to join. So that is it for today, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed making this team and battling with this team against you guys. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. I won't keep you any longer than, need, than I need to. And I'm going to say ta-ta for now.